Hey guys, this is Clive, we're playing Skies of Arcadia again. Um, last time we finished up the Lands of Ice, and now I'm returning to Crescent Isle. Um, let's we'll check the map here and see where we're at. We are up here. Crescent Isle is uh, right over here. So we want to go, like, east and south. Let's head towards the east first. Probably going to hit some... Um, Random battles on the way. I think I can go through this. No, I can't. Ugh. Then I don't know where to go. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe I'm going to have to go like north through the bottom of the map. I don't know. Okay, what do we got here? Some killites, and that's it. Alright. Well, we'll just attack. Uh, these guys are all purples, so let's keep using red like we've been doing. Uh, Lamb burst. And then just attack everything. Yay! I'm going to try to finish this game this week. Uh, next week I'm going to be gone for quite a bit. Um, I'm going to be out of town for 10 days. I am taking my PlayStation 4 with me, so I may be streaming from that some, but I won't be able to stream from my computer, so I won't be able to do uh, Dreamcast games. So I'm hoping to finish this. What the hell is that thing? Uh-oh. That's a fight is what that is. Anyways, I'm hoping to finish this game before I go, and then I'll start uh, whatever game you guys vote for. It looks like Eternal Darkness uh, when I get back. This is interesting. Well, what is this thing? Is it an insect or something? Wow, there's things like this flying around? Now this is why I love sailing. You never know what you'll run into. Um, I have a feeling this is like a big optional boss. Um... This may not be good for us. Alright, I'm going to guard here. I'm going to use... Yeah. Yeah, let's guard there. Uh, I'm going to use Inkram here. I'm going to have Fina focus. And I'm going to have Enrique focus. Because it looks like we'll get a... Uh, as can an attack next turn. Spiral. Ouch. That hurt a little bit. So anyways, yeah, from the 15th to the 25th, I will not be in town. Um, so... Expect to see some PlayStation 4 gameplay. Uh, if I can't stream, I, I'm not sure how good the internet connection is where I'm going. Um, if I can't stream, then I will at least be posting to YouTube, I hope. Uh, I'll try to just record video on the PlayStation 4 and then post it to YouTube. Um, but I can't make any promises. But when I come back on the 25th, well, I'll be, actually, I'll probably stream on the 26th. Uh, we'll, we'll start whatever game we choose next. It's too thin, we can't hit it from the side. Uh, then swing around to the front, or get behind it. Well, let's get behind it, that makes more sense, right? Okay, we got behind it, this should give us an advantage. Behind it? Mm, are you sure that thing has a front and a back? They both look the same to me. J just leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. If I say it's the back, it's the back. Okay, just fire at it. Looks good to me. I mean, we got all greens there. Alright, S cannon to start off with. Um, I think I'll have her do a 12 inch cannon here. You know what? We'll just spread it all the way across. Uh, Fina and Rika are both going to focus. 
Moonstone cannon, fire! We do have increment effect right now. Ooh, that nearly killed him. That's good. I thought this guy was going to be like uh, Ultimate Weapon or something from Final Fantasy, where it's an optional boss that's really, really tough, but uh, apparently not. He may actually die this round with uh, that 12 inch cannon. I get two more shots with it. Come on, miss both of them? That's crap. Complete garbage. Alright, it's starting to run away. See, I told you this was the back. Alright, let's go after it. I'm um, sure, whatever, Vice. Well, beginning pursuit. Alright, so, uh. Um, looks like we're gonna get a possibly a lot of good attacks next round but I'm gonna go ahead and have Vice attack here and maybe kill him this round would be the, the hope um, we do not have Inkram activated anymore it's only two turns okay uh, I'm gonna continue the strategy I've been doing just uh, having her cast a spell having him attack and you know that kind of stuff I'm not too worried about his attacks. He doesn't seem to be doing that much damage. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. If I have to heal, I'll heal, but I think we may be able to get through this fight without healing. Yeah. One more hit ought to do it. And I possibly have a hit this turn if he doesn't dodge everything again. Come on, man. Why do I miss every time? I guess because I'm on the side of him? Can't hit him from the side. Oh, come on! What's the point of even doing the 12 inch cannon for two rounds if I'm going to miss every one of them? Alright. We should be good this round. We've got two uh, bonus to attacks there. I'm not worried about healing. Um, I think I will go ahead and guard on this one, but I'm not going to worry about guarding on the second one. Why does it miss? I'm like right in front of it there. Please hit him with one attack here. I just need one hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please hit. Please hit. Thank you, Lord. You're out of here, Dreamcatcher. Is that his real name? I don't know. I didn't. I don't remember what his name was. But he looks like a dream catcher. No magic experience. That's butt. All right. So I don't know what the point of that was. I'm going the opposite way of the way I need to go. All right. So I'm thinking I go north. Ugh. It's going to be a long trip.
Sorry, I have no funny commentary to say right now. It's just, uh, I'm so sick of random battles. Huh, that was easy. It's not really much else to say. I don't know how many random battles we've done in this game. A few hundred, probably. But, um, you know, there's only so much you can talk about them. Let's look and see where we're at now. Alright, I'm coming up there. I need to head more east. So, um, let's go through this. Let's just keep heading east. Those tornadoes look pretty cool in the background. You guys seen the trailer, or have you seen the movie, I guess, because it's out and everything, but uh, Into the Storm? Like, does anybody else think that's just like a really lame Twister ripoff? Like, it looks exactly the same story as Twister, except it's like there's more Twisters. I don't know. I think it looks pretty bad. And it's got that chick that played Lori in uh, Walking Dead in it, and Lori is one of the reasons why, or that that actress playing Lori is one of the reasons why I stopped watching that show. Which, I mean, I know what happens to her. I've read the comics and everything, and the show is just like nowhere near as good as the comics. I mean, it's not even close. And then. It's nowhere near as good as the game either. If you played the Telltale game for Walking Dead, and the story in that just blows away anything that that show has ever done. I would watch a show based off the game like in a second. Wouldn't you love to see like Clementine in the TV show? They'd probably screw it up, I guess. I mean, uh, Kirkman had a pretty decent story written for him. If they would have just based off, like, followed the comics. But, uh, they decided to do all this stuff differently, and it's honestly not very good. I know some people love it. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm talking and not fighting. I, I know some people love it, but, shit. I just, I don't understand why. Because I think it's awful. Especially when you see the potential of it. It's not like the worst show on television or anything, but... I do not think it's as good as people think it is. We've been watching The Sopranos recently. I've seen the whole series, but my girlfriend Sandra has not. So, uh, we've been watching through that, and it's so good. Like, watching Breaking Bad made me think about The Sopranos the whole time. I mean, they're very similar about family and crime and everything. Um, I'm looking at Fina here. I picked up a Moonberry. There we go. We can get her last ability, which I've heard is overpowered. Revives, cures all adverse effects, and completely restores all HP of all allies for 18 SP. Not bad. I should have looked and seen what the other guys were, though. What their abilities are. Um, we'll just keep heading this way a little bit, and then we'll start heading north. Think I can go through this? Ugh, in the battles.
Anyways, yeah, watching Sopranos. We're on like uh, season three right now, about midway through th season three, out of I think there's six seasons. The sixth season got split into two, but still just six seasons. Um, you know what? I think we will wait and do Reign of Swords next turn. No, let's let's take something out here. Should I do Lambda Burst or should I do Colors Fury? Let's do Lambda Burst. And then we will have them focus on the Lupalons. Yeah. Which they missed because these guys' evades is ridiculous. So I've been playing all these. <laughs> I've been playing Far Cry 4, Persona 4 and Yakuza 4 at the same time. I don't know how I got all these four games, the, the fourth in these series. But um, that's what's been happening with me, besides playing Skies of Arcadia, of course. But um, Far Cry 4 is a lot of fun. If you've seen any of my videos, you can see that me and Sandra have fun playing that. Um, Persona 4, I really liked a lot, but it's a little long and I'm ready for it to be over. Um, but Yakuza 4... It's one I've really wanted to get into for a long time, and uh, I started playing it, and I'm not liking it a whole lot so far. Um, I mean, I, I'm not going to pass judgment on it yet, because I'm assuming it probably does get better, but so far I just, I'm not digging the fighting at all, which I've heard a lot of people say is good in the game, so I guess... Maybe I just don't get it, but it feels like, I don't know, like, may, sort of like the bouncer on PS2, if you've ever played that. I don't, huh. I just, I don't know. It feels like button mashing to me. But I just started. Maybe it changes once you get a lot of moves and stuff. So uh, I'll probably keep playing. But so far, it's been like cutscene, 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 and then I get to fight. I think I've done like three fights so far. And then you do a little wandering around without much going on, and then cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Um, I know it's based on the Shinmu series, or like it's inspired by the Shinmu series. I think I need to go up this way. To get around the mountain. Or maybe I was supposed to go south. Shit, I don't know. No, I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Anyways, I know it's based off the or inspired by the Shinmu series, and uh, I haven't ever played that much of Shinmu. I I tried. I had the first Shinmu on Dreamcast, and um, it screwed up like halfway through. Like it froze up during a cutscene, and I wasn't able to finish it. Really annoyed me. I had Shinmu 2 on Xbox for a while too, and I just never got into it because I felt like I should play the first one first. What is that? Have I already seen this? I think I have. It's that Desert Oasis thing. But, uh... I liked Shinmu the, the little bit I did play of it. And I, I think I'll like Yakuza once it opens up a little bit, but right now it's very restrictive and there's not much going on. Two, two things to kill here. Let's uh, Cutlass Fury on this one. I'm going to switch everybody to purple. Because I know I was supposed to be learning purple moves. Is everybody on purple already? Maybe. Oh, they're not going to learn. They're not going to get much from these guys. They're weak. Yeah, everybody's on purple. Alright, so let's look at my magic experience here and see what I'm supposed to be learning. That was easy. Two magic experience. I think you multiply that by. F well, it looked like it multiplied by five. I completely didn't look either to see what I was supposed to be learning. Um, I believe I can go through these now. Ah, oh, come on with the random battles. 
Just let me go. How long have I been streaming right now? For roughly 20 minutes. 20, 20 to 25 minutes. Um, and it's all been wandering around doing random battles. Uh, let's just do a Lambda Burst here. Which, if you've watched any of my videos, you know random battles are not my most favorite thing in the world to be doing. I probably should have Cutlass Fury this guy and then attack the other two, because Looper Lawns are just annoying. Any of the Looper enemies are. There we go, we actually hit him. Um, I'm sure you've already noticed, but I did change up my uh, video a little bit. Oh, damn it. Sorry. I, I'm just looking at this right now. I'm going to take away that blue background. Um, I changed it up because I noticed that I was just using a very small amount of the screen for the actual game when I could be using all of it. And I've got my camera up there in the top right corner, and, and I got rid of the overlay. Um, that shows the game case and everything. If you liked that, let me know and I'll change it back if I get enough people telling me they liked it that better. But I thought that people might like the bigger screen showing the, the gameplay footage since that is kind of the focus of this. Um, press now. It's right up here. There it is, right there. Hopefully our last random battle before we get to Crescent Isle. Because I am ready to be done with this. You big puss. Shabayam! Nice upskirt shot of uh, Ika's butt there. I don't know why she doesn't wear pants. Chris and I, thank you. Finally made it. We traveled pretty much all the way across the world. They're back, and the hole seems to be in one piece. Of course it's in one piece. A little ice isn't going to hurt it one bit. Captain Vice, about that book from Yafutoma. I built an engine for you using the plans in that book. Until now, you haven't been able to fly above or below the clouds because the pressure differences were too hard on your engine. But now, that's not a problem. You'll be able to fly over the mountains and beneath the large islands. You'll be flying all over the damn place. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's great. When, you, when can you install it? I'll install it tomorrow morning at the crack of dawn. <laughs> With a new engine, we'll be able to travel to more places than ever before. Yeah. All right, everyone, to the meeting room. Let's decide where to go next. Yes. Oh, are you going to make me walk to the meeting room? Uh, I'll go ahead and pop a save right here. Never mind. We'll just save when we leave. <laughs> I guess I should have already should have done it since I had it open and everything, but I'm just thinking uh, we'll save when we leave and um, in the video there after we figure out where we're going. Unless something crazy happens in the meantime, which I mean you never know. To the meeting room. Uh, 
All right, we've got the purple crystal. Let's. All that's left are yellow and silver. Uh -huh. The Sylvite elders already have the silver crystal, so we really only have to worry about the yellow crystal. It looks like our mission is almost finished. But wait, wasn't the yellow crystal located in the Maw of Tartus in Valoa? Last time we went there, we couldn't get in because the opening was sealed. Yes, the Valoans have made several unsuccessful attempts at removing the seal. But perhaps we might be able to bypass the seal with the Delphinus' new engine, according to the geologist of the Valoan Empire. The lower layers of the Valoan Islands are filled with cracks and fissures. In other words, there is a whole system of subterranean tunnels running through Valoa. So all we have to do is fly around underneath Valoa and look for an opening. I see. So in other words, if we can't get in from the top, we'll try and get in from the bottom. It's a good plan. We'll fly below Valoa and look for an opening underneath the island. Once we get inside the tunnels, we should be able to find the crystal. Since we can fly higher and lower than we ever have before, we might as well take advantage of it. Exactly. Let's rest up today. We'll leave for Valoa first thing tomorrow morning. Alright, that's cool. So we'll go to Valoa, fly underneath the island, and then look for cracks, and then go up into them. See? Like that. That's what we're going to do. Thank you for loading, finally. Ugh, I keep thinking I can go there, but there's like no exit there. It's just a wall that you can see through. Alright. Let me down. Let me leave. I want to leave. Down the pole. We. I think we got time on this video to actually get to to the crack in Valoa Valo 2, to get to Valoa's crack. So I want the videos to be around 30 minutes, and I don't think we're quite there yet. We're close. Eh, we can do it. Let's just do it. Return to my ship. Okay, so Valoa is right over here, isn't it? Ma of Tardis, Valoan capital. Alright, so we just need to go over here to this place and go down below the clouds. Wow, that's cool, man. This is as far down as I go. We're just going to look for a place to rise up. This, this is not it. this right here. This looks like it, maybe. Whoa. Did I leave the... I don't know where the hell I'm at. I think I left the, the continent. Let's drop back down. So there's another spot right there. Well, that's still leaving the continent, I think. Okay. Let's start heading back towards the Mahab's Hardest. I think that's where it would be at. Not getting any fights down here. I wonder if you can get in fights below. Is this an opening here? 
Uh, I think I keep leaving the continent, yeah. I wish there was a way to have the like a mini map on your screen or something. There's fish. Wait, is this an entrance? I can't go up any. I'm like right around the mall right now. I'm just not seeing anything. I feel like maybe the fish are a clue. Uh, let's count it again. It's like a. Oh, here we go. Found it. Took a little bit, but I found it. And we got a save point right here. I think I'll go ahead and end the video here. This seems like a good place to end it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give me a like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really helps me out. Follow me on Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. I'm RetroClive and all those places. Thank you for watching, and uh, come back next time to see us do the um, yellow crystal, I guess. The Valoran crystal. Uh, thanks. See you later.